Ganesha come like it to 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 Easter. This is one of the key holidays in the Christian calendar. It celebrates the resurrection of Christ on the third day after being crucified for man's sins. In this season, the message about the love of Christ is widely spread, reminding even non-believers on the need of accepting Christ into their lives, with one of the key messages being Romans 10.9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This forms the basis of Christianity. The message about Christ has been preached throughout generations, right from the early church with the disciples of Christ, till now, and will possibly continue long after we are gone. However, the methods of spreading the word has morphed into different approaches, perhaps to reach and speak to a generation the best way they can understand. Douglas Waudo, the founder of Living Effectively Mentorship Program, who is also a communication specialist, in his passion for spreading the gospel, has dedicated himself to equipping Kenyans to discover their purpose in God and live effectively as a result. He believes that this is also a way of spreading the message of the cross by helping, especially the young people, find their identity in Christ, which is a major crisis in this generation. Attitude is you know who you are, identity in Christ Jesus, all together, because your identity has to be rooted in your source. Your source is God. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And then you know that God has given you abilities. There are things that you can do. There are things, whether everyone here seated here, there are things you are able to do. You are good in something. Easter uh, speaks of God's love. It's the highest demonstration of God's love because that is when the Bible speaks of God sending his son on the earth to die for us so that when we believe in him we have eternal life and those who don't believe in him will perish and that for me is the root of identity because identity uh, is rooted in God. As human beings we came from God. The Bible speaks of the Trinity uh, in, in, in Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 where God, the Bible says and God says let's make man in our own image and let them have dominion to rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and everything that creeps on the earth. And um, you know we came from God so our identity has to be rooted from God. Wasevanisi, a gospel artist, uses her gifts uniquely. She takes the message of God's love to the streets, something that most youths will shy away from. Her boldness, she says, comes from the same God she sings about. All of Kenya, like everywhere, mm -hmm. we, we tend to fear. We, we are so afraid. We want to, to feel like God is not there. But what I've, I've come to learn is that when you prioritize God, when you, like, God is you and no one, like, it's like, who not plan B, it's only God and God. Mm -hmm. That is when God takes, like, time and anakushugulikia. Mm -hmm. Like, when, even before I even started, like, I could feel like, I want to work so hard, I want to do gigs, I want to be here, I want to be there, I want to be, like, uh, for a minute I was like, ah, I'm tired, Lord, do something, <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> That is when it was like, now go sing, go sing uh -huh. the street. Like wow. when you prioritize God, he will sit down and take care of you. Through her one lady guitar, her glorious voice and the spirit-filled messages that she sings, Kenyan's hearts are settled or at least pointed to the love of their soul, Christ Jesus. <laughs>
passage we all memorized and know at heart. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life, is the message of the cross. The message that is not only being spread during Easter, but in and out of season. It should be a daily living. It should be a daily reflection. So in my own ways, by the grace of God, I use the mentorship platform to spread the message of the cross of Jesus Christ. Uh, and, I, I, and I mentor individuals. I've been doing that from 2015 up to now. Uh, I mentor individuals uh, to discover their purpose in God, to be able to live a life that they were created to live in God, to discover why they were created, why they are here, what they can do, and also to, dis uh, to, to, to be able to know that after this life there is a life that will come in eternity, and that life we understand from the Word of God. It's either you will spend it in heaven with God, or you will spend it in hell, in suffering and in torment. So I use the mentorship program to uh, to disciple individuals to be able and 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 the thing about the mentorship that I run by the grace of God is uh, it is holistic so we look at life from uh, in a very holistic way from in terms of education in terms of business and career in terms of marriage in terms of family in terms of leadership and also in terms of spiritual development and we look at it best based on the word of God looking at life on how does that life the life that we live what does the word of God speaks about it and how are we guided by the life of the Word of God as we live through, uh, as we live our life on the earth? Ecclesiastics 10:10. 10, 10. The Bible says, mm. "Using a dull axe requires great strength, so sharpen the blade." Sharpen. So he's saying, "There's a this. Thank you so much. There's someone who said, if you give me ten hours to cut down a tree, I'll spend six hours sharpening the blade, sharpening the axe, so that I take less time cutting down the tree." Cindy. So sharpen your skills. The message that is being preached in and out of churches in the most conventional and unconventional ways. The message that seeks the lost and lets sinners know that God has granted them a second chance. Uh, it's a time for us to really be able to come close to God and acknowledge that we are actually nothing without the cross. And that cross is Jesus Christ. Because without the death of Jesus Christ, we are all doomed. We are all doomed to fail. We are all doomed into the world of sin. We are doomed into the world of judgment. And so we celebrate Easter remembering what God has done for us. I want to talk to to the people who are sick, anyone who is sick, like mm. when Jesus died, in the Bible say that by his stripes we are healed. Yeah. So be it physical, a sickness or spiritual or anything that feels like you think like you're being shaken, the blood of Christ is it's over you. It is the message of a love that can't be compared to any other. Jesus paid every tiny thing, you know, everything every in thing. detail, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear the Savior say Thy strength indeed is small Child of weakness, watch and pray Find in me thine only known I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me Thine only known. Jesus paid it all, all to Him my own. Sin had left a crimson stain. For KBC, my name is Stephanie Yetta. Happy Easter! Jesus paid it all, all to him my own. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. He washed it white as snow. No